iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install file services on 2003 server. First things first, we're going to go ahead and add a row. We're going to go to next. All right, we're going to go up here and click on File Server. All right, right here, I want to go ahead and set this up. We want to limit the disk space. I want to get a person five gigs. And I want to set a warning when they reach when they reach almost to their maximum. So we go ahead and put a give a warning once they get close to reaching it. And tell them to get one gigabyte when they when they get a warning. I want to deny them and I want to log. I want to go ahead and log these files. I want log files. Just for proof or something like that. Just in case you ever want to say something to someone or just for proof have some log files. Alright, let's go to next. Uh I don't want any indexing in. You can turn it on, but it you know depends on you. Go to next. All right, we're about to set up the share. I'm going to go ahead and browse the path. We'll go ahead and put in the C. I want to go ahead and make a new folder. I'm going to call it share. Okay. Press okay. There it goes. Uh, you can rename it whatever you want here um, to make it easier for you. But I'm just going to make just keep it share. So there goes the path. We'll go ahead and press next. I'm going ahead and have all my users right now have access to this folder. Um, you can go ahead, you can do custom, or you can click on these two custom. You can go ahead and pick who you want in your Active Directory, what user you want to have access to, and then you can give them what kind of rights and stuff to the folder. Like read and write or whatever, but I'm just gonna have them read only access. So go ahead and finish. I don't want to do another folder, so we're just gonna go ahead and close this. This shows you the details. Go ahead and finish. All right, let's go to the folder. We're in a share folder now. We're gonna make a text file. We're just going to put, can you see this? You can put control S or you can just go ahead and save it. All right, let's close it. All right, I'm about to go on the client machine and see if the, the client machine can see this text file. All right, I'm on the client machine. If your client machine was already logged in, you might have to log off for it to actually get the file, I mean, be able to get access to the file, so go ahead and log off. In Windows 7, it gets it automatically, but in XP, you have to log off for any pr new permissions to come. So let's go ahead and log in as a user from the AD. I have a username, A. Ryan. All right, we're in the client inside the client machine now. We're gonna go ahead and go to start. We're gonna go to run. Now in here, you can either put the IP address of your server, or you can put the name of your server. So I'm gonna go ahead and put hack hack. The name of my server is test slash, and then the share. You notice that it already comes up. So we go ahead and go to share. We go ahead and press enter. Double click on it, and there it goes. Can you see this? And we can see the file. We only have read writes right now, but all we can do is see the file. If you want to where your user can always see this, we can go ahead and go to start, computer, go to tools, 
map drive you can give it whatever letter you want let's say k and go ahead and find the folder so we're gonna do it again hack hack test and put share and then press finish and for now on every time they log in all you gotta do is click here to get to the share and make it real easy and we also can make scripts through GPO where it can automatically map this drive for people um watch my tutorial on GPO and I'll show you how to do a script to set uh every user to have this map drive in whatever OU they're in uh, that's my tutorial on file services I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.